Hello, ladies and gentlemen, in the South on the end. I am back, and you all see Star Wars Overthought like is playing. It is operational. Oh, this is all new. And then they changed the, uh, what's the call thing here? Now, as you can see, I have all of the, uh, Empire side. I have the Sorcerer, which is my highest level. Assassin, which is my, um, you know, DDS style. Then I have my Jaguar, which is the tank. Then I have Marauder, which is a uh, DDS. My Altitude, which is a healer, which is an Imperial Agent. Then this is a Sniper, he's a tier DDS to the Imperial Agent class. Then I have my Tire Attack, which is just a um, tank type. And then I have my Mercenary, which is just a healer. But as you can see, oh, there it goes. See, that's how I used to start out like that. But you see, I have every single class to the Empire side. So to the uh, Republic side, you see I only have uh, this guy, you know, Sage, which is a healer, he's my highest class. Then I have this guy, which is uh, DDS, my Jedi Sentinel, he's just tier DDS type. This guy is my tank here. Now this guy created this everything else, he thought that this Raider has popped up. This Raider not going to let you play, please stop playing, blah, blah. And then this is my gunslinger, so um you thought the dip raider popped up and stopped uh talking and playing, I was doing this one. And then later on now you see I don't have any troopers, so I need to make a couple of troopers and then that way I'll have all of them for the um uh, and this is the shadowing server. Uh talking with Mr. X, they play on a British server, so later on I'm gonna be going over and creating characters on the now. The Shadow Lane here is a TDE, which is player versus environment. In fact, I think I can show you. As you can see, I play on the Shadow Lane, which is a TDD, which is a, a player versus environment. And my group that I'm part of, the, um, uh, the Freedom Network, the Legal Legacy group, they play on this one, the Tune of Freedom Nada. So later on, I'm going to be creating a character, which is a player versus player environment. So I'm going to be going over there and playing that. But so right now, I want to uh, try to com complete my um, one character. Because I was just creating this one guy when this thing popped up. But well, like I said, this is, a new, uh, this is all new, how they start up like this. Uh, so this is the one I always play, it's Shadowland, the 300, the Mandalorian Knights, and the, um, uh, Evelyn Nothergard plays on. So when I was creating this guy, this is when the Dit Raider had detected a crack, Dit Raider is stopped working, and that was it, I couldn't play no more when I was trying to create this guy, so, when this thing plays, let's see, will it let me play, or will the Dit Raider thing pop up, because, uh, I used to have Komodo Dragon, and all Komodo Dragon is it's just a direct detection. It doesn't have spyware, it doesn't have anything else, and it was allowing this um, infection, I guess you'd say spyware attack, whatever. It kept messing with my root directory, and it's not letting me play nothing. So, now as you can see, uh, Dit Raider detect, uh, if Dit Raider or whatever is no longer popping up and Norton actually found like 3,000 some you know issues uh 21 was uh you know, needed to be taken care of but then there was seven that was critical dangerous that it had to immediately take care of so last night I finally got to get in a little bit to you know play last night at midnight that I went to bed and I'm like oh great I'm so glad I'm back so I now have Norton Let's see. Um, fingers crossed. Hopefully, when I click this guy here, that, that so called Dit Raider detection, Dit Raider has failed, crashed, whatever, don't pop up. Because Norton seems to be, you know, doing his job, let me play. So, hopefully, he'll let me play now. Because I was creating this guy when everything just went completely, and that was it. I couldn't be able to play Star Wars no more. And we're gonna do this guy uh, through his storyline, get him off the uh, thing. And this guy, he's gonna become a scoundrel, which is gonna be a healer class. He's gonna become a scoundrel. Then later on, I took out a couple of truthers, and I'll have everybody to this uh, to the Sutherland. 
all set. And then I'm gonna go over to the tune of Not for Freedom Nada and start working on that and you know see what that's all about. But I'm the I'm a uh, subscriber, uh, so I pay each month for this game. All right, they start. Got out the don't crash. Let's see what happens. Right, I'm gonna pull you out. We all know that you. Yeah, this is gonna pop up saying that uh, Bit Raider has detected a crash and we have to shut down Star Wars. Seems to be working so far. But just as I came into a landing, that's one that right there. As soon as I came into a landing, Bit Raider had detected a crash that popped up and froze the, froze the Star Wars game. Let's keep flying. Good, 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 good. I like it, I like it, I like it. It's working. You to that separatist shooting gallery, Captain. Your ship isn't even scratched. It takes guts landing in the middle of a battlefield. Nice flying. It was easy. I owe it all to my lightning reflexes and crackerjack timing. Clearly had a lot of practice getting shot at. <laughs> I kind of wish they would have somehow reused the hey, Scott, somehow. I'm picking up those blasters in your cargo hold. Excuse the rush, but uh, need to get out of here quick. This village used to be safe, but the Separatists are taking over. If I were you, I'd hold jets as soon as we're done. And go where? Is there some place else I can land on Ord Mantel? This is the last free spaceport in the region. There's no place else to land unless you're Republic military. Sounds like the bombing's getting closer. The Separatists will be right on top of us any minute. Here's your payment for making this run, Captain. As soon as I have those blasters, you'll be free to fly. Skavik, we've got a big problem. Separatists took over the local air defense cannon. Oh, slow down. Slow down, Corso. What are you talking about? They deployed some kind of remote control stations, hijacked the cannon's targeting computer. Damn Separatists just destroyed an incoming Republic transport. So? What's the big deal? Don't you get it? The Separatists can attack any starship coming in or out of here. With those remote control stations, the Separatists can override the air defense cannon's computer, turn that firepower against us any time they want. That's bad news, Captain. The Separatists will blast you out of the sky even if you think about taking off. The Separatists have remote control stations all over the area. You'll probably have to hit several before they lose control of that cannon. And I'm not getting paid enough to this. I should charge extra for my thrilling heroics. Good luck. Hope we see you again. <laughs> Let's move, Corso. We're running out of time. Yeah, let's see. Now I rearranged my uh, my setting to turn it down a little while ago. I'm gonna get rid of you. Okay, that's my healing thing. I don't want to put you up there. Put my that on. What are you? Okay, that's not love. Put you up there. Alright, uh, now like I was uh, saying earlier in my Star Trek one, I do not have my Razor mouse or my Razor keyboard uh, installed yet. I'm still using the PS2 mouse and keyboard. And like I said, this is an old Asus 750i another door, which is called the Enthors uh, P5D Enthors another door with a Asus Gthor 750i video card. Uh, do it. What are we doing for settings? I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, click here. See, so, you know, all my settings are just right. 
Now, I had to turn my sound down because I went out doing a test earlier. Some TDT was at 100%, and you could not hear me. All you heard was the battle around me, just everything else, and the Star Wars music around me. So I had to turn that down some. Hopefully, it's still not too loud. In fact, no, I'm going to leave it. No, I'm going to take it back down to about 13. And that's my graphic setting. I'm going to put the Drupal sync on. Start title. Yes, I got start title unlocked. Okay, and when you want, when you join with people and you're doing something, just everything else, and they're another class or uh, class or whatever, this that, you want to click this so that way they can join you in your missions. Alright, let's head on out. That's what it normally is to name the team. We got the first mission right here. Let's take it up. Stand by and take it. HQ, this is forward recon. Do you copy? HQ! Blast. Thought I had him. You look like you know your way around a blaster. Wanna be a hero? Oh, maybe. Depends on the path. I won't say it depends on the town. What's a hero make these days? More than me, citizen. That sounds fair, then listen up. A crack separatist militia has taken over this village. So we're not talking dumb grunts and farmers. They've got experts in there with serious jamming equipment. Uh, so what are we doing? Any ideas how to solve that problem? I figure I've got one option left. Ask you for help. My mission is to deliver recon on this village, but I can't report anything through this interference. I need those separatist jammers neutralized. So if you're headed into the village anyway, maybe you can handle it for us. If you waste those separatist jammers, report back here. I'll see if I can requisition some equipment you could use. There. Now what I'm gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna play through instead of try to start, 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 start on each ignition. I'm just gonna play all the way through them. Um I had actually been talking to some of my friends who were also doing game streaming and what video editing they used and everything else and this that and also I'm gonna be buying one of these um game editors and everything else so I can do my own editing and try to make things look better and all but right now I'm just gonna play all the way through, pick up all the missions, do all the missions and play all the way through it. So we need to go in. Looks like we've got a few people already. Do this. Whatever. Yeah, that's one of my missions right there. But for right now, I'm doing these. Run over here, do this one. I'm gonna get all these in here that I'm looking for. People to cure. Like you guys. Four.
Kill these damn things. There. I'm going to turn to the captain. Ouch. Glad you made it back in one piece. Me and my squad owe you one. Thanks to you, we're cutting through the Separatist interference. Be reporting back to base in no time. Here, a little something from our private stock. Watch your hide out there, hero. And that one's now done. I put in better weapon. This game does operate on these things. We definitely need these to basically stay alive. Oh, wait a minute. What do I... Nah, I'm not gonna throw you in. I'm just gonna leave you alone. Look at my loot. <coughs> One up here. Nah, no, nah, no, don't show. I'm so close to that door, I guess I can't target right. So close to the door there. Alright. Take care of targeting computer. Seems like it's working fine. So far, no bit rider detection thing popping up yet. Thank you. Thank you, Norton. Pow. <laughs> Captain, you there? It's Corso. We got trouble back at the hangar. I'm a little dizzy. Is there a reason you're whining to me about it? You got a blaster? Figure it out. Separatists are busting into the hangar. We're giving them a warm welcome, but we could use a hand. Skavik, get over here. Help me seal this hangar door. Skavik, what are you... Go ahead and run across. Like ah, we're just a great little snuggler. And return to the hangar. There we are. Report your ailments. Fit for duty. Return to your post. 
Holy moly, I like that. What kind of outfit does he have there? I like that outfit. Now you can't do nothing, you kind of notice your so-called rant or whatever then pulled up. Or I thought to dig old, get a big old surprise. Ah, feels like a gun dark used my skull as a drum. Thanks for saving my hide, Captain. Here it goes. My day day. Get in here. He stabbed us in the back. How does this happen? I just got here. Bring me up to speed. Last thing I remember was Skavik sucker punching me. Looks like he and his separatist buddy stole everything. Hang on. Where's Torchy? I don't believe this. Skavik stole my blaster. Torchy's a genuine blast tech, all 25 with magnetomic adhesion grip and side mounted rangefinder. She's too good for Skavik. No, we're gonna die. Can't let him get away with it. He's not getting away with this. Come on. Come on, pick up, blast you. Oh, what's the matter, Corso? Did I hurt your feelings? Be thankful you're alive, kid. You realize you're a dead man, right? Better men than you have tried, so forgive me for not trembling. On behalf of Lord Mantel's glorious freedom fighters, I thank you for your blasters, your ship, and a big laugh. Have yeah, a nice day. This isn't over I think you're celebrating a little early. It's no use. He cut the comm channel. He always was good at making an exit. Skavik stole my best blaster, but I guess it's not as bad as losing a whole starship. I feel for you, Captain. Listen, Skavik and I were working for a guy named Vito. When he finds out Skavik's a separatist, he'll want revenge just like you. Do yourself a favor and go talk to Vito in Fort Garnick. I guarantee he'll help get your ship back. Mm, tell me about him. Who exactly is this mysterious boss of yours? How can he help? Vito is the king of cargo. There isn't a payload that comes to Ord Mantell that doesn't pass through him. Vito's a smart guy with connections everywhere. If anybody can find your ship, it's him. I have to lock down this hangar, but I'll send Vito a hollow and tell him what's up. Fort Garnick isn't far from here. I'll see you and Vito there soon, Captain. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, get out of the flight jacket. Yeah. Now I gotta head on up to the uh, Thort. And I'm loving it, but I'm not crashing. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Right here to pick up. I do. Private Westner, 31st Recon out of Fort Garnick. Watch your head out there. Separatists deployed snipers in the area last week. Good snipers. Plenty of casualties between here and Fort Garnick. Those seps will shoot at anything. Anything? Who are their targets? Soldiers, vehicles, civilians, especially the refugees from all the war torn settlements. They pass through on their way to the refugee camp outside Fort Garnick. Boom. Sniper bait. 
Mm, that's horrible. Most despicable thing I've ever heard. Yes, sir. 100% despicable, sir. Fort Garnick wants those snipers retired ASAP. Commander Frey even offered a week's pay to anyone who makes it happen. Sure, oh man, money and just have credits on there. Glad to hear it, sir. If you take out the snipers, report to Commander Frey at the refugee camp outside Fort Garnick. Good hunting. Alright, we're going up that way. I'm gonna go up this way. There's a sniper right there. Oh, I can't target him. the hill now because everybody's all thrown that you did. Now I'm just gonna get on around. I wanna see if I can get aggro. here and turn this all in. We got the uh, sergeant here to talk to for turning that mission in. Or Kanaindor I mean. Yes, thank you for sleuthing me. Now, as I said, because I'm a snuggler, I need this one right here. Endurance, anybody can use, but aim right there. The truth would need aim. While snugglers, they need cunning, but cunning is their primary type skill. What the? Sorry. Now, you need to see this lady right here, or she's going to tell you about your trainer. Oh, 
Sure, I love making new friends. I wouldn't mind meeting some like-minded individuals to maybe discuss some wholly legitimate business practices. Okay, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, he's up here. So I can run up here and talk to him. There's a lore object. You thought you talked to him. I'm gonna click on this little thing back here because there's a lore object. Yay! I like it. Here, this is, you know, he's got a droid that we don't can't use for droids. Uh, all skills picked up. Now I'm gonna run over here and do some unlocks. Yeah, that's all I'm Uh, there's another lore object up here, and then we're going to unlock the canteen. Now, but I'm going to take a break. I want to make sure this thing is working right. You want to click on this because this is another lore object on more points. And we're going to go up here and unlock the canteen. Now, but I'm going to uh, jump off the game, but I'm going to turn this guy because I'm the subscriber. I get what's called Rustin points. Alright. And like I said, I'm going to exit out because since I'm right here, I'll get what's called resting points because I'm signing out on the canteen. I'm oh, it's not showing. Unless you have to complete the whole mission. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to log out because I want to make sure this stream's working right. So I'll be back shortly. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please click the like button or dislike button. And I'll need to talk to it, you know. Bye-bye.